cello <coughs> with two pickups so you can use it um, as single coil pickups each of them and you can use it as a kind of hamburger so if you connect them for this uh, you have a switch on the back side of the cello so, and you can switch single coil this single coil in the middle uh, you have the hamburger uh, mode and uh, in the other um, switch position you have the, the other um, pickup as a single coil. So, and the difference is um, between single coil and humbucker is the following. Now you only listen to this pickup, it's the lower one. <laughs> switch to the upper pickup in single coil mode. Lower, upper. So the difference is not very big, but the character of the sound is a little different, of course, because the position of uh, both magnets are different. So, now, this is the single coil, single coil um, sound. And now I go to the humbucker. sound like this you can listen a difference now I go to the to a heavy metal sound and the difference between single coil and humbucker is very low as you can hear this is humbucker and this is single coil single coil. This is the upper single coil. for the spit cello is to have only the lower uh, single coil and normally you can do nearly everything uh, with a single coil too if you adjust a little bit the input uh, section of your um, um, electric guitar equipment for example. So, there is one big advantage of the, um, of the humbucker like the, the name says uh, then you can uh, reduce hum this is what I can show you now. If I take this spip cello out of the, um, of the tripod stand, where it is now, and um, I use it only with, with a um, support system, and then I can show you what the difference is in hum bucking. And now the difference for the humbucker. <laughs> 
At the moment this is a clean sound and I'm I have switch by the way it's the switch is here on the back side and when I go here is a transformer inside a transformer is a, um, a unit which um, changes the voltage of the of the of the out, uh, out, outlet power to the voltage which is necessary for the amp inside so and it works with a magnetic field so the magnetic pickup from the spip channel is also working with magnetic fields and if I go close close to this very close to this amplifier inside uh, to this transformer inside then you get the, the hum of the of the power electricity of uh, in in Europe 50 Hertz in USA 60 Hertz and you can listen it and when I switch this is a single coil mode when I switch to um, uh, to hamburger you will listen the difference now it is it is reduced single coil hamburger Single coil, Hamburger. Single coil, Hamburger. And this is the main advantage of a of a Hamburger, especially for this cello. So if you play a lot. On, on stages where you have a lot of, of lamps, LED lamps for example, which are normally, long, normally controllable in, in, in their brightness, then you have a lot of um, interfer interferences um, on the stage. And this is maybe a problem if you have it on your, um, on your pickup, because it, this the interfer interferences also comes to the amplifier. In, in case in case of um, um, of very high distortion or com compressed sounds, so the problem with a with a hum is um, uh, more obviously. This is a humbucker, and this is a single coil. But I'm I was very close to the to the transformer now, and. Also in this case, for, for high distortion or high compressed sounds, you normally need um, a noise gate for the, um, for, the, for the single coil mode or for the standard SPIP cello. As I said, it's normally enough. You can, you can, use near, you can do nearly everything with, with a single coil. And when you have the humbucker, so you are a little bit more safe on, on on stage with or in, in areas with with a lot of energy systems outside for example on, on railway track uh, tracks it's always if you have a lot of distortion or a lot of compression you will better use uh, a noise gate in your in your effect line <laughs> One more point for cello players. For those, I switch to a clean sound. So for those who play a lot in very high positions, maybe you will um, um, you will find um, negative that the fingerboard is a, 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 around 40 millimeters shorter than the standard cello, or, the, the, uh, or than the, my, the standard spip cello. This this way, I need 
for the for the second to pick up, and that's why the fingerboard is a little shorter. So, and this is what you uh, should keep in mind. It is um, sometimes a problem for very professional uh, players. Mm -hmm.